key takeaway from this turnout and the close race? Yeah. So my takeaway is that this is democracy in action. This is the will of the people. Uh, you know, we can make polls, we can have predictions, but it all comes down to individuals who step inside a voting booth and exercise their constitutional right. And then we await the results. We tally them up and then we find out who the next president is. Do you, uh, your message talked about continuity. Do you fear that or was it a reassurance because a lot of what Trump, Donald Trump has said in his foreign policy uh, moves away from America's traditional positions across the world? So uh, I think speaking specifically to the case of India and U.S.-India relations, there is not even bipartisan support in for India. It is a nonpartisan issue. So both parties have recognized India's growing importance. We have this foundation of shared values and shared interests. We have the fact that we're working together more closely than ever before on everything from climate change to business and commerce to science, health, education, even space exploration. And again, I think whoever sits in the Oval Office, that person will be committed to maintain and strengthen this relationship with, uh, with our very important partner in India. There is not as much respect for Donald Trump as a leader. As a businessman, he does command respect. But globally, he does not have that stature of a, le of a political leader. Do you fear that the fact that you know the image of America, the United States, as a great democracy will diminish with his presidency? So the United States has been a beacon for democracy and freedom for over 200 years. I expect that to continue, who, who, regardless of who is in the White House. So the, you know, the U.S. has a number of really core values: so democracy, freedom, commitment to rule of law internationally peace and security globally and such. These are things that, that, that are consistent throughout U.S. history and I think will we, we'll continue for certain regardless of who is in the Oval Office. He has said that it's divided America and whoever comes in the White House will have to bring America back again, the people together because the issues have really fractured open the deep divisions in the American society. Your comments on that? So th that's what happens during campaigns. I mean we have a very diverse population. We have people who have a number of different views. And they're very passionate about those views. And campaigns, presidential campaigns, is when those things come to the surface. And that's happened before in our history. It will happen again. It's just something we'll have to work through as a society.